Hey guys, what's up? It's Alana. I have my new camera, if you can't Okay, tell. I found this on the web for guys. What's up? It's Alana shooting star. Okay, uh, anyways. Oh, holy crap, that is so clear. Oh, it's blurry. How do I do this? Oh, that's zooming in. Okay. <laughs> You're kidding. How do I? You guys get to see everything now. <laughs> this is crazy. Whew, it's fine. Don't get too excited. Okay. I need to chill out. What's up, guys? It's Alana Wickering. If you haven't been here before, you just try staying around. You might enjoy it. I'm back today to tell you guys the 18 things that I learned over 2018 and I know it's a little late it's like January 10th right now so I'm a little late to the party I feel like laying down isn't the right thing to be doing <laughs> I fixed where the camera was we're gonna get right into it okay I'm gonna tell you guys the 18 things I learned and I hope you guys enjoy it and find something good in it okay so number one, do not worry what other people think about you. And coming from me, that sounds kind of stupid because I worry a lot about what people think about me. Through YouTube, it's actually helped me change a lot. I've learned to stop caring what other people think when they... Stop. I learned to stop caring about what other people like say about my channel more than I did before. Like I used to care a lot when people would hate on it. Oh, somebody's gonna like take you down for trying to put yourself out there on the internet. I'm not about that. So I don't care what people think about me anymore. And number two, when you have nothing, you have yourself. And that's a big lesson I learned this year. I learned how to be alone and how to be okay with being alone. I've always been surrounded by people my whole life. And this year kind of showed me that like I can spend time by myself and I can be happy by myself. Myself. Number three, you don't owe anybody an explanation for the way that you decide to live your life. And this kind of goes into not caring about what other people think about you. Basically, let's say I make a video that makes people mad. Let's say I do a controversial topic. People are like, oh, why do you think like that? Like, what made you say that? Why did you make this decision? I don't owe anybody an explanation. An explanation. An explanation for the way I think or the way that I decide to live my life because it's my life and I get to choose what I want to do. And if they don't agree with it, that's okay because it's their life and it's not my right to judge what they think is right opposed to what I think is right. I don't know if that makes sense. Number four, find what you're passionate about and go for it. Put your all into it. That's what I'm doing with YouTube. That's what I learned this year. That's why I say that this is a big thing I learned in 2018 because I restarted this channel. This is something that I'm very passionate about and I find a lot of fun in. So if you ever think about starting a YouTube channel, just do it. Just do it. I mean like, what are you gonna lose? You know what I'm saying? Oh, you start a YouTube channel and people hate on you. Ooh. People that aren't happy with themselves are the ones that are hating on you or have something that's going on in their lives. They're trying to bring you down to make them feel better and most of the time they're just jealous. Is that conceited? I've been jealous of other people and that's because I don't like something that's- and that's just like a little thing like that's the point. I don't know where I was going with that. Number five, stop comparing yourself to everybody. You do not need to compare yourself to everybody. Again, this is something I'm still learning. It's very hard for me. This is kind of five and six together. Stop comparing where you are in your journey to where somebody else is in their journey because God has another plan for like the way that their life is supposed to go. If you invest all your time like worrying like, oh, they have more followers than me. Oh my gosh, like people like their videos more than mine or anything like that. That just hurts you mentally and it's not worth it. You're worth way more than that, way more than degrading yourself. And you are your worst critic and everybody knows that, but like you don't need to be. I don't know if I can just say that. You don't deserve to be like that and you deserve to be happy. Stop comparing yourself to people where they are in their life because it's a t you have a whole entire different life than them and it's just a back and forth battle and you just need to be happy where there you are and make the best of it and keep pushing to be successful the way you want to be. So I'm on number seven now. Be kind to everyone despite how they are to you. And this is my favorite thing. People that don't like me, that talk down about me, and I still sit there and I talk good about them. You get what you give. Literally. If you're gonna be nice to somebody, you're gonna get something in return some other aspect of your life. Maybe not through them, but through some other aspect because that's just how world works. Good karma, bad karma, 
I believe in it. I don't know if you guys do. Be kind to others no matter how they treat you because it makes you look like a better person in the long run. And this one, I guess, kind of ties into it. Compliment people as much as possible. You never know how far that's going to go. A little story time. So I work at a coffee shop, like you guys know from some previous videos, unless you're new here. Yes, I'm a barista and a YouTuber and... Um, I'm now a server at a restaurant as well. So there was one morning where I was helping this lady and I was being very kind to her. It was like 5.45 in the morning. Neither of us wanted to be there, obviously. And she was having a hard time and I was just like being nice to her and I was like helping her through, complimentive and all of that. I didn't really think twice about it and then I came to work th like a, the next weekend because I usually only work weekends because I'm in school. I went in and I had a card that was labeled to me and I was very confused. I opened the card and it was actually from that customer. She gave me money and a card telling me like happy holidays, thank you so much for helping me, like your kindness, how nice you were to me that morning when we were both having a rough morning, your compliments personality the way you acted like made me very happy and I want you to know how much I appreciated it you never know how far a complimentive or nice just act in general can make somebody's day and that makes me so happy like I didn't need that money from her I didn't need that card from her just the fact that I made her day better just like blew my mind number nine stop depending on people for your happiness because it's never gonna stay that way in the end you are the only person that you have you cannot depend on people to be there for your whole life like obviously like most people depend on their family but you need to depend on yourself you need to make the best of you and you need to use yourself as the best the best person in the world and that's hard for me to say because like I have a lot of self-confidence issues and I don't know if that shows very much in my videos but it's very hard for me to do that but I'm working on it it's something I learned a lot in 2018 number 10 you don't have to have the most expensive thing in the world just to feel cool to feel stylish. Some people like, I get, people can afford Gucci, Supreme, whatever you wanna, I don't know. Those are the only two I can think of. That's awesome, I have nothing against it. I would love to have a pair of Gucci slides, a Gucci shirt, something like a real Supreme shirt. Um, you saw, if you haven't seen yet, I will link that video down below where I made a Supreme shirt. I've learned thrifting is your best friend you can find some of the coolest stuff when you go thrifting literally half my clothes are thrifted as long as you're confident you are powerful okay you're powerful 11 having a couple friends is better than having a thousand fake ones this is a very basic obvious one find your people i know you can you think you don't have people you can find them i promise you i'll be your person subscribe to my channel <laughs> you want to be my friend follow me on my social media <laughs> take that guys you're my friend now you don't get a choice you chose to be here you get to be my friend okay figure out people's intentions before you put all of your effort into them there are people who are going to use you there are people that can speak English in this world too Alana in this world there are people who don't care about you at all but they care about something that you have and they want it so they use you you don't want that okay you need to understand what people want from you first be okay, I'm really going off here. You need to find out what people's intentions are first before you invest all your time into somebody or else you're gonna break your own heart. Yeah, that's it. That's all I have on that one. 13, drink coffee. Life is too short. Unless you don't like coffee, then I mean don't drink coffee. Um, that backfired, but... You should like coffee. If you don't like coffee, just keep trying it until you do. I used to hate coffee. Now I have a problem. You can probably tell right now. I've had a lot of coffee today and like I'm talking really fast and maybe it's just because I'm excited because of my new camera, but like... <sighs> Take a breath. Drink coffee. Drink something that makes you happy. Not alcohol because, um... We follow the law here. Unless you're over 21, don't drink it. Don't do it. I'm telling you. It's a trap. Drink coffee. I don't know. Drink a lot of water, I guess. Take care of yourself. 14. Treat yourself when you reach your goals. Make tiny little goals that you want to hit and then have like little things that you like reward yourself with. It could be something as little as if I get an A on this test, I'll buy myself a drink from Starbucks or, or I'll buy myself a burrito. Who doesn't love a burrito? I don't know, what else? 15, make exercise a part of your life. I'm not kidding, it sucks. It sucks ass. Exercising is not that fun. It's really not that fun, but once like you get in a routine and you make yourself do it, you feel so much better about yourself. Even if it's just like, I'm gonna do 200 sit-ups today, that's it. 
that's a start at least you're doing something having a healthier lifestyle in general just will make you a happier person you'll feel good about yourself more that ties into like diet as well like obviously you eat whatever you want life is too short also make sure to include like all the food groups that you need unless you're like vegetarian or something then like don't eat meat <laughs> But number 16, this one is go where you grow. Something I was at for church, one of the girls there's dad told her this and it just really stuck with me. So I thought I would share it with you guys, giving them cred for coming up with it. But go where you grow. Like you don't want to invest all your time in something that you know you're not passionate in. Go where it makes you happy, if that makes sense. Don't go somewhere just because the other people are going there. Go somewhere that you like be who you want to be always try to find the better you and grow i just threw up <coughs> that was disgusting this one is 17 it kind of goes into it make decisions for yourself decisions make decisions make decisions for yourself not for other people the last one 18 Get comfortable. Nothing matters. That sounds deep. That sounds dark. I was watching a Dolan Twins video the other day. Love them. Um, and Grayson has a tattoo that says nothing matters. Or it matters and it has a line through it. And that stuck with me the other day because literally nothing matters. The only thing that matters at the end of the day is you and what you think is right and what you, makes you happy. And that just brings all of the things I learned in 2018 like together. Nothing literally matters. Somebody's gonna give you shit for being yourself, give you shit for being who you wanna be, the decisions you make. You don't need them. Th they don't matter. They don't matter to your life. They're insignificant to your life. Wipe those tears, nothing matters. At some point you're gonna forget about it because literally nothing matters in this life. You have to do what's best for you and what makes you the most happy. Yeah, those are the 18 things that I learned in 2018 and I hope you guys like enjoy those things and you took something from that. That is it, sis. That is what you need to know. Just a quick little uh, life update. So like I said during that, I don't know if I cut it out or not, but I now am a server because I'm trying and I work at a coffee shop and I'm nannying this summer because this summer I'm going to LA for a week, which is super exciting. I'm going with one of my friends and don't worry, there will be a lot of videos when I'm there and a lot of pictures. And if you want to stay with my journey, you can follow all my social media, which will be linked down below. I will be going in July for my 19th birthday. That was basically my life update. I got this camera, already established that at the beginning of this video. I hope you guys enjoyed these. Like I said, I hope you guys got something out of it. I hope you guys understand more of who I am as a person more by talking about things that I've learned and things that I want to help people with. If you guys like this video, give it a thumbs up. If you didn't like this video, I mean, still give it a thumbs up and click that subscribe button because like, what do you have to lose? Please like this video. Please subscribe to my channel. I hope you guys have a great week. I will see you guys Wednesday. Bye.